freaking camera crapped out on me last time, so let's try this again. Back at it once again, Instant Class 8 here. Do my Hard Justice review. First off, this was much, much, much better than last year's Hard Justice by far. I know a lot of people compared it to last year, but I'm telling you right now, it's so much better. Um, ju it was just a, a good pay-per-view overall. I know in my last video I said I was going to order it, but circumstances prevented me from doing that, so... Uh, but I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to buy a DVD without question. And I rec I would recommend this to anybody because it was just a great show. So let me run down the card for you. Let me pull it up. All right. Petey Williams versus Consequences Creed for the X Division Championship. This was a very good match. Um, I know a lot of people kind of against Consequences Creed getting a title shot, you know, considering he really hasn't done anything to earn it. Um, yeah, I can... I can agree with them with that, but I also I can also say that, you know, yes, he didn't deserve it, but me, I just want to see a good match, and that's what we got out of here. We got a good match, a really good match. Um, like I said, they gave it enough time. You guys are going back and forth. Uh, the the crowd was well, the crowd was really hot. They were hot all night, but this match they were really into it. Um, basically, they they didn't they weren't behind Consequence Creed at all. Um, I would say they were behind Petey, Petey Williams, but they were mostly against Consequences Creed, I guess because of the fact that he hasn't done anything. Um, it was kind of like that Cena Triple H WrestleMania 22 vibe going on, but not as good, of course. Um, Petey Williams, of course, he did that little Hurricane Rana spot he does to the outside, which I mark out for every time, and it's just so awesome. Um, it ended with uh, Sean Devari coming out and giving Creed a chair shot, and then Creed rolling right into the... Uh, Canadian Destroyer, so Peter Williams is still the champion. Um, I don't know what they're doing with that Sean Devari stuff. I really didn't dig that. You should save that for, like, Impact or something. He cut a promo afterwards, but I really didn't hear what he said. I stepped out the room, so we'll see what happens with that. Like I said, probably on Impact. That shouldn't have been on pay-per-view, but overall, the match was really good. Then we went to the Knockouts match. which was a six Knockouts tag match. Gil Kim, Taylor Wilde, and ODB versus Awesome Kong. Angelina Love and Velvet Scott, the beautiful people. Um, the beginning of this match was really good. The interaction between ODB and Angelina Love—it's um, hard to describe, but you just got you got to check it out. Um, like I said, good interaction. Overall, the match was—it was okay. Um, nothing really, you know, nothing really to talk about. It's just your normal knockouts match. You know, the same stuff they do each and every match. Um, I believe Taylor Wilde, she got the roll-up victory, which I really wasn't a fan of. I'm not a fan of Taylor Wilde at all, but I, I expected the heels to go over in this match. And for some reason, they didn't let them go over. Um, I just got to say, they got to give somebody, Taylor Wilde, somebody to go against. Um, even if it's like ODB or somebody, because she pretty much destroyed everybody on that opposing team. Beautiful people and awesome Kong, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, next match was surprising. My surprise match of the night. Holy God, this match was good. Robert Roode and James Storm versus Beer Money versus LAX. Um, uh, this was a really good match. They had, um, I don't know the guy's name. They had somebody perform LAX's theme, which came off really good. I enjoyed it. But uh, the match, oh, the match was great. Um, not too many dull, sp dull spots in this match, considering it was Robert Roode. You know, Robert Roode being in this match. Um, LAX dominated pretty much the entire match. Uh, there was a time where Beer Money got over, and God, it was what was it? Robert Rude. He actually did the Three Amigos. I'm not sure. I think it was on Homicide. He did the Three Amigos. Then he did the uh, you know that stuff that Eddie Guerrero does. He tried the Frog Splash, but he missed it. But the crowd, he got so much heat for that. Um, he did a Ric Flair strut, but it was horrible. Um, they teased the uh, LAX breakup, which I've been hearing about, which is dumb, but they teased the breakup about um, Homicide and Hernandez were pretty much arguing about who's going to go, I don't know, who wanted to go to the outside um, and, you know, and continue to beat down beer money, and they start slapping each other, and then Hernandez gets uh, uh, Homicide up in the, the border toss, and he tossed them to the outside. Um... God, I believe I've completely forgot. I think Jacqueline got involved. Oh, no, no. What happened was uh, James Storm hit Homicide over the head with a beer bottle, covered up and got the, the three. 
Um, I'm starting to like this team a little bit, so I really don't have a problem with them to win the belts. This whole LAX breakup thing is kind of weird. We'll see where they go with it. Then we go to... Oh, God, this match was... <sighs> Jay Lethal versus Sanjay Dutt. And the black tie brawl and chain match. This match was bad. This was horrible. Um, God, the, the object of this match was... Both guys will be chained together. They will have tuxedos on, and you can either win by stripping your opponent down out of the tuxedo or by pinfall. I just gotta say is, if you want to see a bad match, look no further than this. Um, I don't care if they did have some little interaction with the wrestling stuff. This match was horrible. Um, God, I I hated it so much. The only reason this gets you know the rating that it does is because of the. <laughs> when Sanjay Dutt had Jay Lethal on the outside, they zoomed in on Jay Lethal's parents, and it's, it was just the funniest thing. I was dying laughing. Uh, but other than that, this this match was horrible. Never do this again, TNA. Never, ever, ever. Bad. We went to Team 3D versus Christian Cage and Rhino in the New Jersey Street fight. Um, it was okay. The main problems I have with this is... Of course, they went right to the outside, and the main thing with that is the cameras. They have horrible cameras. They don't have good spotlights, and you couldn't you couldn't really see what was going on. Um, Rhino sloppy. He was just falling down the stairs like and nobody was around him. There was one spot. Oh God, I don't know what happened. I believe I I really couldn't even tell you what happened to be honest with you because I thought that Christian was with Devon. And Rhino was with Bubba Ray, and there was a point where Christian climbed to like the, uh, I guess the little, the thing that I don't know what you call it, up to the stands or whatever, and he does that cross body block. And I'm thinking he does it, he's doing it to Devon, but as he's jumping off, I see Devon come up and raise his arms. I'm like, you know, what's going on? This, oh uh, God. And then Bubba Ray, I still confess that he's the worst seller in history. Um, this match ended. God, I, I forgot how it ended, to be honest with you. It was just, it was all over the place. Like I said, it was decent action. Um, there was a point, I'm not sure if this was the, the way that match ended, but Abyss came out. Oh, no, no, what happened was, after the match, Johnny Devine came out and started laying uh, Christian and Rhino out. Then Abyss comes out. For what reason, I have no clue. Um, and then... God, yeah, Abyss pretty much lays, you know, the the heels out, and like I said, I, I don't know what they're doing with this, no clue at all. Um, like I said, the only thing I'm looking forward to with Abyss is, hopefully they put Abyss versus Awesome Kong and Monsters Ball at Bound for Glory. That would be crazy. Uh, then we went to AJ Styles versus Kurt Angle, last man standing match. This was the match of the night by far. This match was excellent. It started off slow, but it got... Oh, I got really good. There were, you know, they went to the outside, up to the stage and stuff, and did their spots on there. Uh, Kurt Angle did a, a freaking, what do you call it, a somersault onto AJ Styles. And, like, when he nailed it, you can see that, you know, he was happy. Like, yeah, I didn't get hurt. Um, then he went back to the ring. Of course, AJ does that plancho he does to the outside. Um, there was a point where... God, I forgot how they did. I think Kurt Angle did a flapjack or something, but then he had uh, AJ Styles up like he was going to do the Styles Clash, and then AJ reversed that into the ankle lock, clamped down on it, had Kurt Angle tap out. Um, God, it was good stuff. Angle hit the, the um, what do you call it? He hit the angle slam, of course. It was a point where he sup uh, gave AJ Styles a German suplex off, the, off of the... Uh, the top rope, which was insane. The match ended with uh, AJ Styles having Kurt Angle on the top rope and delivering a brutal DDT, which Kurt Angle sold very well. I know a lot of people say, oh, it could be real. No, he, he sold it well. And that, that proved AJ Styles won the match. And that proved when AJ Styles, he was outside and he ran back in. And he gave him, he gave uh, Kurt Angle almost like a, a fisherman suplex brain buster. I don't know what you call that. But uh, it was it was it was crazy. AJ Styles goes back up the ring, lights go off, stings there, Scorpion Death Drop. Stupid. Why would they do that? I don't understand. But like I said, the match was good. Last match of the night for the TNA Heavyweight Championship, Six Sides of Steel, Booker T versus Samoa Joe. This match was okay. Uh, there was one the favorite spot is when they were standing on the ropes, hanging onto the cage, and uh, 
God, Samoa Joe jumps up and does that little bicycle kick that he does on Booker T. It was, oh, I marked out crazy for that. Um, the match ended. The light's going off again. I'm thinking Sting. All of a sudden, they come back on. Joe's got a guitar in his hand. Hits Booker T over, over the head with it. Gets the three. And looks like we're going to see Jeff Jarrett soon. Ugh. Overall, like I said, I would recommend this show. Especially that Samoa, nah, not Samoa Joe, but AJ Styles, Kurt Angle match. The match was excellent. Um, other than that, like I said, only really one bad match, and that was Jay Lethal and Sanjay Dutt. That match was horrible. Other than that, this pay per view was very, very, very good. In my opinion, of course, I enjoyed it. I definitely advise each of you to check it out. Instant Classic 8 out.